To make an incredible bath salt, all you need is three ingredients, salt, a carrier, and your essential oils. My name is Karen Williams. As a professional aromatherapist, I love to create amazing blends that inspire and promote a healthier lifestyle. I've been making my own homemade soaps for over 25 years. I got my start many years ago as a registered nurse working in the hospital system. This recipe is amazing because it's so cleansing and simple. We're not just masking the air, we're improving it. But along the way, I knew something was missing. I wanted to help people more holistically. So what you're seeing today is really a culmination of all the research that I've done. Then, I discovered essential oils and my approach to life changed forever. And you'll feel that calm, but yet energetic focus that you're looking for. Now, I've made it my mission to share what I've learned about aromatherapy with my friends, family, and the world. If you have smaller children, just simply leave out the Ravensara, or put it on yourself as you're holding your small one, and they'll get the benefit as well. Because life is so much better with health, happiness, and community. Let's start blending. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a customizable bath salt. We're making vetiver lime bath salt, which is one of my favorites. And along the way, I'll show you how to make some different substitutions with oils that you might have on your shelf. So let's get started. Our first ingredient is our Himalayan pink salt. This is a small grain, and I simply used my four ounce container, measured my salt, and now I'm going to pour it into my mixing bowl. I find that Himalayan pink salt is very nourishing for the skin. It helps to soften the skin, exfoliate, and draw out those toxins that might be lingering. You have other options. I also like to use a fine grain Himalayan pink salt, and they're interchangeable. Sometimes I'll use half of one and half of the other. And if I'm making this into a shower scrub, I'll many times just use the fine grain. So you've got options there. Our next ingredient is our carrier oil. And today we're using baobab seed oil. This is a gorgeous oil that is very nourishing for the skin. It's important to use a carrier oil like baobab, and you might even consider one like jojoba oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, depending on what you have on your shelf. They're all very skin nourishing. We use a carrier oil because our essential oils need to bind to something and they will not bind to the salt. So what you'll see is little drops of essential oil in your bath. When you use a carrier oil, the essential oils will blend in with the carrier oil and make it a safe environment for your skin. We're going to use one fluid ounce of carrier. If you get a little more in there, you don't even need to worry about that. It's also equal to about two tablespoons of your carrier. I'll just put that right in. Can't wait to use this. Our next ingredients are the essential oils. Today we're doing five drops of our lime. Just put that right on top. Lime is very uplifting. It helps us to really feel confident in ourselves and it's a gentle uplifting. It's a gentle way of really making a sparkle in our day. Our second oil is vetiver. It's a heavier oil and the older it gets it smells even better but it can get a little sticky around the edge and make it hard to pour your drops and that's the case with me today so I simply took out the top part, the dropper part, and I'm going to carefully drop in two drops of vetiver. There we go, two drops. Now vetiver is a very grounding oil. It helps to take away the angst that we can sometimes feel. And it's a really good oil to blend with our lime as we get a very gentle, uplifting effect, ready to start our day or perhaps end your evening. Now we simply stir our blend. There's a lot of other essential oils that you might consider using in your blend, depending on the time of day that you plan on using your bath and what your therapeutic effect is. 
I oftentimes will use lavender essential oil instead of my lime or putting lime and lavender together. I like to use sweet orange. If vetiver is one you don't have on your shelf, you could consider one like patchouli, for instance, for that grounding effect. The florals, like ylang ylang, are gorgeous in a bath blend. So relaxing. And there we have it. I like to store them in my container. Since this is about four ounces in here, I'll take just a little bit less than two tablespoons of this blend per bath. And that's just about right for the amount of essential oils that we want on our skin. I try to keep my essential oils anywhere from two to five drops per bath. So when I have all of my essential oils in here with my salt, two tablespoons, just a little bit less than two tablespoons will give you four baths. And I just spoon it in and keep it in my bathroom where I can easily assess it. You want to make sure that you don't get any water in your salt blend as there's not a preservative in this. And then this will last a good long time. If I get water in my blend, I'll use it up within that first week or two. If you'd like to try the vetiver lime bath salt, you can find the recipe in the description below, as well as some other recipes that you might be interested in trying. If you'd like to make sure that you don't miss any of our videos, be sure and subscribe. And if you'd like to watch a previous video, you can click down here. And we'll see you next time.